Number 1 Memorial de Can. Founded in 1988, the Memorial de Can is on top of an underground bunker from which the German General Wilhelm Richter coordinated the defense of Normandy's beaches on D-Day. You can walk through this 70-meter long tunnel and then head up for broader exhibits about the Second World. Number 2 Abbey of St. Trinite. This Norman Romanesque abbey was founded in the middle of the 11th century by Matilda of Flanders, who was the wife of William the Conqueror. Matilda's tomb is in the abbey church and marked by an unassuming black stone with a Latin inscription laid at the time of her death, unlike William's whose tomb at Cannes Abbey Aux Homs has been repeatedly updated. Number 3 Chateau de Cannes In the Middle Ages Cannes Citadel, built by William the Conqueror in 1160, would have been a monumental landmark. Even today it's easy to get a sense of the dimensions in the park where the dungeon and many houses used to be. Number 4 Abbey Aux Homs William the Conqueror established this abbey in 1063 to gain absolution for marrying Matilda of Flanders, who happened to be a cousin. The building is another Norman Romanesque treasure, with the stern, unembellished walls of the western façade crowned by more decorative Gothic towers. Number 5 Musée de Beaux-Arts de Cannes In the Château de Cannes, the city's fine arts museum displays 350 works leading you on a voyage of discovery through French and European art from the 1300s to the present day. The galleries are weighted towards the Renaissance and Baroque, with pieces by Nicolas Poussin and Rubens, as well as Italian masters like Veronese and Tintoretto. Number 6 Musée de Normandie the other museum at the Chateau de Cannes covers Normandy's thousands of years of history and is in what used to be the governor's residence. In the prehistory section you can view 7,500-year-old ceramics, as well as tools and arrowheads discovered at a site in Vierville and Neolithic burial items discovered in Eca Jewel. Number 7 Eglise Saint-Pierre Cannes' majestic Gothic and Renaissance church is identified by its soaring spire, 76 meters in height and restored after it was hit by a shell in the Second World War. St. Pierre was built in several stages from the 1200s to the 1500s, the older parts being the choir, tower, and facades. Number 8 Timber Framed Houses One of the reasons there aren't as many timber framed houses in Cannes as other French medieval cities is that in 1524 this style of construction was abolished by the Norman Parliament as it was considered a fire hazard. Number 9 La Colline Aux Oiseau It's hard to believe that this tranquil mosaic of gardens northwest of the center was once the site of the city dump and waste incinerators. The park was opened in 1994 to commemorate D-Day, and the name, Hill of the Birds is actually a reference to the mounds of rubbish that attracted flocks of birds. Number 10 Jardin de Plants Also well worth a sunny stroll is Cannes Botanical Garden, where 8,000 plant species are planted in 5,000 square meters of peaceful plots, including a medicinal garden, arboretum and various horticultural collections, all scrupulously arranged. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.